Eliza and welcome back to my channel. So with months coming up for so many of you at the beginning of January, I thought I would share with you my last minute studying tips. Um, so I will do these kind of a week before my exam season starts, just so that I can keep the momentum going through my studying and keep it through into my exam week so I'm not burning out halfway through taking all of my mocks. Uh, I've got eight tips to share with you guys, so without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first tip is to write flashcards. So in the weeks coming up, you might have wanted to write full out notes. There is no point in doing this the week before your mocks unless you've already done it because it will take too long and you won't be able to get all the information down for the topics that are in your mocks. And also by writing flashcards, you just have the detail that you need and they're small and easy to have and look over before your exam. So my next tip is to use this website called Seneca. This is so good. It's basically an online web revision kind of website that you can look at all of your different topics and find your subject and exam board and do practice questions. It's really good for quick revision. I used it all the time in my run up to mocks just to reinforce anything that I had learned and made sure that I fully understood it. So my next tip is to use Quizlet. So I've gone on about Quizlet before, but it's basically just this online flashcard website. It's so good, It's you can find all of your subjects on here and all the topics created by other students like you. And you can basically just learn them and it'll help you learn all these things. It's great to do on the go and on your commute to school. So I probably sound like a broken record now, but learn exam technique. If you don't do anything else in the week before, but learn exam technique, you will not be doing badly. Because if you go into your exam and you don't know your exam technique, especially with essay subjects, there is only a limited amount that you'll be able to get through. And by learning the exam technique, you will know what the examiner is looking for and so be able to form your answer accordingly. So this next tip is going to sound a bit weird, but record yourself speaking your notes aloud. This means that you basically can have an online copy on your phone of all of your notes that you can just listen to again on your commute and you won't have to be carrying around loads of notes. It's also good for repetition because you're just hearing it over and over again. So another one is YouTube summaries. So you can go onto YouTube, find your exam board, find your topic, and for almost every subject and topic, you will be able to find some kind of summary on YouTube. And they're so good, just quick little videos for a little revision and just to solidify your understanding. So the next one is especially good for essay subjects, and that is to write out your essay plans. So by doing this, when you get into the exam, you will already have kind of an essay formed in your head and you'll know what points to include and what examples to add. And it's really good for just quick memorization and to know what you're going to write about. And the final tip again is practice questions. So again, you can find these online or in some revision guides just to do so you can see what the exam paper is going to look like and practice the questions to make sure that you are kind of writing the right thing down and so that you get a bit of familiarization before your exam. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe down below to see more videos like this from me. Again, thanks for watching and good luck in all of your exams. You will do amazingly and I will see you guys next time. Bye!